In this video, we're going to be discussing and talking about cataracts, how they work, what they look like, what are some symptoms you can experience, and what do you need to do about it. So, by definition, what is a cataract? A cataract is whenever the crystalline lens inside of your eyeball has a blockage or an opacity or a slight discoloration or haziness or things that can kind of mess the vision up for the way that light rays enter the eyeball. Cataracts make the lens thick, they make them cloudy, they make them hazy, discolored, blockages, anything like that. There are several different varieties, types, and styles of cataracts you may experience that can cause different visual disturbances and distortions. But what do cataracts primarily do as far as causing issues to, this vis to the vision? Slowly progressive visual loss, blurring, usually over months or years, it can take a little bit of time for them to progress to the point to cause visual problems and issues affecting one or both eyes. Glare is a big problem that we see a lot of times in patients that have cataracts, especially when it comes to bright sun or oncoming headlights from vehicles when you're driving at night or taillights from vehicles in front of you. Altered color perception may occur as well too, but not to the same degree as other eye conditions like optic neuropathies, for example. And the characteristics can determine what kind of symptoms you have. So for example, where the type of cataract is at? Is it in the front of the lens, in the middle of the lens, or in the very back of the lens? Something some patients will mention sometimes is that they have to use a lot more overhead light to kind of read things up close in lower levels of light. Or when they go out to restaurants to eat, it becomes extremely difficult to see the menu in lower levels of light that they need to get their phone flashlight out or have a little flashlight or some form of increased illumination in order, in order to be able to see the menu in front of them in lower levels of light. What are some risk factors for cataracts? We're gonna go through a laundry list and describe some of the risk factors that could put you at increased risk for developing cataracts. Age-related, which is more than likely the most common type that I typically see when I'm examining patients. Pre-senile, which can include systemic conditions like diabetes, myotonic dystrophy, atopic dermatitis, anything in that category. Trauma, toxic, like if you've been on any steroids or any long-term medications. Um, and you can have things that can contribute to cataract development known as secondary causes, which include chronic anterior uveitis, a history of vitrectomy, ionizing radiation, a tumor of the ciliary body specifically, acute angle closure glaucoma, Degenerative ocular disease, such as like retinitis pigmentosa, Leber congenital amaurosis, gyrate atrophy, and a whole bunch of others like that too. Um, endocrine metabolic chromosomal disorders, which can include diabetes, hypocalcemia, Wilson's disease, myotonic dystrophy, like what I mentioned a few moments ago, or Down syndrome, neurofibromatosis type 2, which can lead to a specific type of cataract as well. So now that we've kind of described some of the risk factors associated with what can cause cataract development, what are the types of cataracts you can experience? You can have nuclear cataracts, which kind of create a more yellow brown discoloration of the central lens, typically blurs distance vision more than near vision. This can make someone a little bit more nearsighted than farsighted. Think of whenever you studied an atom in science class, you had protons, neutrons, and electrons, right? Think of the nucleus where the protons and neutrons are at. That's like the center of the lens where this cataract, the nucleus or the nuclear cataract typically starts at. You can also have what's called a posterior subcapsular cataract. This just means that there's a blockage or an opacity on the back side of the crystalline lens where light exits to go onto the retina. A lot of times this will impact patients up close near reading vision in particular. Like things will get more blurry, hazy, fuzzy, distorted, and it doesn't take a lot of progression for those cataracts to cause significant visual issues for those patients. You can also have cortical cataracts. A lot of times these will come in as if they look like wagon uh, spokes on a wagon wheel or spokes in your the rims of your tires for your car. They kind of poke inward like these little spokes. It, they look very interesting and they can kind of make someone more farsighted than nearsighted. And there's a whole bunch of different types of cataracts too. Uh, there's even one called a Christmas tree cataract. There's one even called a traumatic cataract. You can be born with a cataract known as congenital, a congenital cataract. You can also experience even a subluxated lens, which just means the lens is detached and is kind of sitting at the bottom of the eye, but can also develop a cataract. There's even an unusual type called a Morgagnian cataract. Now, I've only seen never one of one or two of these, but what they look like is a liquefied cataract, meaning that like, it's like if you injected the lens with milk, whole milk, 2%, anything that kind of has that milky consistency to it, it kind of moves around like it too, but it's contained inside the lens, but it's just a significantly developed cataract that's 
fluid has gotten in to kind of let, give it that milky appearance a little more. It's extremely important to get a very, very good case history. So when you're talking with your eye doctor, make sure that you walk through the entire history of if you've been told that you have cataracts before, describe what you've been experiencing. Have you noticed glare? Have you noticed decreased nighttime vision or ability to see at nighttime when you're driving at night? Do you have to use a lot of overhead light to read things up close? Do you find that vision in general has become a little bit more yellow, hazy, distorted, or less colorful? Is it more bland? Is it blurring the vision? Do your glasses not work anymore? Do your contact lenses not work anymore? It's extremely important because it helps kind of guide us to where we're going to eventually see some stuff happening with your vision and what need to be the next what needs to be the next steps. Because the next steps can vary from patient to patient a lot of time. There are some patients who can have not very progressed cataracts and feel like they're ready for cataract surgery. That's okay, as long as things kind of match up for what we examine. There are some patients who have significantly advanced cataracts who are not ready for cataract surgery. And that's okay too, as long as it's not impacting their vision. Because sometimes when cataracts progress, they can alter the glasses or contact lens prescription, which requires a little bit of fine tuning to get you seeing your best. And especially if you're not ready for cataract surgery and your cataracts are not primed for cataract surgery, it's best to just alter the prescription and then just monitor them on an annual eye exam basis, which is extremely important that you get your eyes checked every single year. So with those types of cataracts in mind, you can also have some on the front side called an anterior subcapsular cataract, and it kind of messes with distance, up close, intermediate, all that type of vision to cause some significant visual issues. So whenever you experience different visual distortions, concerns, blurry vision, glares, flares, halos, things of that nature, make sure you talk with your eye care professional about if you've been told that you have cataracts before, let them take a look at it and then walk through the steps of what it could look like for you as far as helping your vision improve, do you need cataract surgery or other options to consider to help you see your best. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and tap the bell for notifications. I'm Dr. Bryce Heffington. We'll see you next time.